For this week's entry into Obscure Characters Month, we're taking a look at what happens when a character rises from obscure beginnings to find new levels of fame years after their creation. These are the basics on that most dedicated of Decepticons, Flame War. Flame War was created by Transformers fan and writer Ben Yi to be an exclusive toy for the official convention Botcon in 2005. A recolor of the Transformers Energon RC figure, she transformed into a motorcycle and was armed with a huge compound bow. Notable for being created at a time when there were still only a very small number of female Transformer toys, Flame War was characterized as a multi-talented Decepticon, a skilled warrior, scientist, spy, and more, who had been one of Megatron's first and most devoted followers right from the beginning of the war. The story surrounding the convention and its exclusive toys was set in the future era seen in the 1990s Beast Wars animated series. After the war had ended and the Autobots and Decepticons' descendants, the Maximals and Predacons, had begun to rise up to take their place. Even in this era, Flame War remained fanatically dedicated to Megatron's cause and dreamed of returning the Decepticons to glory. To which end, she allied herself with the Predacon ruling body, the scheming Tri-Predicus Council, serving them as a covert agent. In the convention's exclusive comic book, the Council sent Flame War to aid Decepticon General Deathsaurus with his plan to create an army of Insecticon clones. But in the course of the mission, her identity was exposed to the Autobots, and the Council, now considering her a liability, remotely blew up her ship. However, a follow-up story told in the form of a script reading held at the convention revealed that she had survived, and she would later resurface in the prose story The Razor's Edge, released online in 2007, in which she used an armoured exosuit to pose as the original Megatron in order to rally a group of followers and build a new Decepticon drone army, but she was foiled by the Maximal Air Razor. Now, it's rare for a character created for Botcon to make the jump to a Transformers series outside the convention, but in 2012, that was exactly what Flame War did when a new figure of her was released in the Transformers Prime toy line. This incarnation of the character was a recolor of the Prime version of RC, and also turned into a motorcycle. She was obsessed with her Autobot lookalike and dedicated to destroying her. This vendetta against RC was also presented as Flame War's defining characteristic when she was added to the mobile game Transformers Legends later in the year. She would appear in several of the game's events over the next few years, and she was also slated to feature in the 2014 multiplayer online game Transformers Universe, but it wound up being cancelled before she could be added to it. It was also in 2014 that Botcon decided to revisit Flame War, offering another exclusive toy of the character, this one a recolor of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters RC figure, armed with a huge bow like the original. This Flame War was a mercenary on the run from Autobot bounty hunter Devcon, but she was otherwise much like the original, a Decepticon in the future era of Maximals and Predacons who sought to revive Megatron's fallen empire. This year's convention comic saw Flame War cross paths with the pirate captain Cannonball and his Star Seekers, who hired her to help them on an ambitious Energon heist. The comic ended with the heist failing and Flame War and the pirates being arrested by the Maximals, but an additional story released via Facebook later in the year detailed how they escaped and saw Flame War conspire with the ghost of Starscream to overthrow Cannonball and usurp leadership of the Star Seekers for herself. Starting in the last few years of the 2010s, Flame War suddenly began to appear more and more often in mass market Transformers media. Following a cameo in IDW Publishing's comic books, as an actress playing Rodimus in a movie about Cybertronian history, she featured in the Angry Birds Transformers and Earth Wars mobile games, and even the Transformers trading card game. 
Most prominently, since 2019, she's been a regular in IDW's new, rebooted comic book universe, set in the era before the outbreak of the war, as a member of the underground terrorist organization The Rise, which eventually becomes the Decepticon Army. This version of Flame War is a younger, more mischievous one, an impulsive little gremlin who enjoys pranking her teammates, who lives up to her name with a pair of arm-mounted flamethrowers. As the Transformers franchise enters the 2020s, this run of new cross-media appearances in such a short space of time has seen Flame War quickly turn from an obscure recolor into one of the most frequently recurring female Decepticon characters currently active. She's even popped up in the Transformers Back to the Future crossover comic book. Flame War's come a long way from her convention-exclusive origins, climbing the ladder just as tenaciously as she's held on to her belief in the Decepticon cause. But those origins are what make her unique, and they deserve to be remembered. After all, as Flame War herself says, to forget the past is to doom the future. And those are the basics on Flame War. Where did you first encounter this rising star? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Transformers history and lore, and come back next week for another installment of Obscure Characters Month 2021.